And we have breaking news out of Jackson concerning the high school football season. The governing body for high school athletics just made a decision when that season will start. Let's go live to WTVA's Matt St. Jean in Clinton with that decision. Well, we're all smiles down here in Clinton, right outside the MHSAA headquarters, as they did vote to have fall sports in the fall. However, they did decide to move things back two weeks, all of the sports. That means for football, the start date went from August 3rd when they could start practice to August 17th, moving the first game day back to September 4th. Now, a lot of teams are going to be missing two games during that span. Those will not be made up. For volleyball, swimming, and cross country, escaped me for a second, cross country, they will start on August 10th now with their first games being on the 24th. Now, if they had games in that two-week period, those will be able to be made up. It's a school-to-school -school decision. Executive Director Don Hinton was pretty thrilled that they were able to keep sports in the fall. However, he did say they can go back to the table if circumstances change around COVID-19. We try to look to the experts, but which expert do you look to? We, we hear this, and, and then we hear this contradictory, and it is. We're going to, in the end, do what's best for our students and athletes and, and, and coaches in school. And, I, and, and that, if it changes, then, yeah, we'll change. The vote took about an hour to complete. There was a lot of back and forth, but one thing that didn't come up, which was surprising to me at least, was there was no conversation about moving the fall sports to the spring, which is something that the junior colleges, the NJCAA, decided yesterday. However, the next thing that we need to talk about, will there be fans in the stands? Well, you have to turn, out, turn in to WTVA at 5 to hear more from Don Hinton. For right now, reporting in Clinton, Matt St. Jean, WTVA 9 News.